Let's get you in the tank with Peeps and uh, and Gary. Come on. Hold on. Don't, don't wiggle so much. I don't want to drop you on the floor. There you go. Get Reg. Oh, there he is. Reggie. All right, survivors. Welcome back to Subnautica. We are back at home base after having uh, visited the uh, floating island. Hi, Gary. We're home. Did you miss us, buddy? <laughs> Oh, well, Gary's going to be so happy that we have a, uh, a multi-purpose room now. We did find the blueprint to the multi-purpose room on the floating island. And we can build it up today. And we can get a, uh, a fish tank in there and put Gary in it. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, Gary, that's right. You heard me right. Fish tank. No more freedom. It's for your own good, though. You might get eaten out there. So, with that said, I think it's time to get started. Let's head outside. And build up our first multi-purpose room. Hi, Gary! Gary, you better stand back because we're going to build up a room here. And, uh, hey! Look who's here! I thought I heard something. Wow. So close to home. Oh, they got the little, uh, what are those little biters over there? Oh, yeah, biter! Here comes a biter. Dude, what? Get, I will stab you. I got you, didn't I? Of course I did. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, you know what? I never scanned this big fella. Let's just scan the, scan the big fella reef back. And then we'll get on with um, our expansion, our base expansion. Hold on, pal. This won't hurt much. Ow! You, you are so lucky I can't stab you right now. It is a reef back. I don't want to stab the reef back by accident. But I do want to stab that little guy that bit me. <laughs> I must have vengeance. All right, anyway, that's cool. They never come this close to home, the reef backs. All right, enough of that play stuff. Let's get the uh, build tool out. And Gary, right, Gary, stand back, buddy. Because we are going to put the new multi-purpose room on here. It's a basic room, and it subtracts 1.25 HP from the base. The integrity will go down, I guess. The structural integrity. Hopefully, we can support this thing. So I'm thinking about just uh, slapping it right on here. All right, Gary, watch out. This looks good to me. So I think I'm going to make two of these multi-purpose rooms. One at the entrance here. And hold on, listen for cracks and hisses. It may be Nothing. prudent to what? separate work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Yeah, right. That's a good idea. Treat this like home. We're going to make this more like a home, in fact. That's the whole point of this. And we're going to have two rooms, one for leisure and then one for uh, one for work. We don't want to mix business and pleasure in one room, so that's why I want to make two. So there we go, we can get inside. And it looks like our supports are still strong oxygen. enough to hold this thing. Oh, oxygen! Yeah, right. Okay, get inside. Whew. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, what do you think of the expansion? Uh, what's her name again? Abby? Abby. Abby, like Abby, right. So, yeah, look at all this. And I guess the base is still pretty solid because it's not falling apart. It's not leaking or anything. So, good. Let's grab some more titanium. And I think we're going to need more quartz. Quartz is used in some of these recipes that we're going to uh, make today. Oh, by the way, here's all of our fauna that we... Uh, flora fauna. The flora that we gathered on Floating Island. And we're going to try to plant some of that today if possible. And, uh, by the way, my throat is feeling much better. I'm not 100%. You can still hear it in my voice that um, it's still a little scratchy. But uh, way better than it was over the past couple of days. So we should be able to get through this without too much trouble. Whatever you do, you do not slam into my new base. Let's add another room right here. Another big multi-purpose room. And will they all connect nice, nice? Yeah. Okay, I hope this doesn't bring the base to its knees. Negative 1.3 base hull strength total now 10 and a half. All right, well, it seems okay. It's not cracking. Yeah, all right. Still pretty secure. I'll probably throw up some more of these um, reinforcement plates like I have over here. I've got two of them. One over there, one there. So I think what I might do is move all of this material, all the lockers and everything, into this multi-purpose room and turn this into like a workstation area. So we can do all our work in here. And then on this one, on this side, this will be our leisure 
room where we just put our feet up and relax. And I think, well, the first thing we do here is let's get, where is that fish tank? Fish tank, aquarium. Oh, it's a perfect fit right in this corner. Let's put our fish tank right here. Got the glass. Oh man, it's amazing. Comes equipped with coral and rocks. And we just open it up and we can put fish inside. Ooh, let's go get Gary. Gary! Gary! Well, Gary's gonna love this. It's so safe and cozy in there. Gary, come here, buddy. Whoop, gotcha. Come here. Yo, hold on, pal. You gotta love this place. Let's climb up through the uh, the moon bay. Hold on. Okay, don't drop Gary. Climb up. Ugh. All right, quick. Get him in the water. Get in there, Gary. Woohoo! Gary's safe in an aquarium. <laughs> Look at the whole thing to himself, too. Aren't you the luckiest fish in the ocean? Huh? Look at that. I think he likes it. You got anything to say, Gary? Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he likes it. Good. Now you're nice and safe. You don't have to worry about any predators eating you. So we have this other thing here, too. A, uh, a sign. So I'm thinking about maybe putting a little name tag up above. We need copper wire for that, huh? Whoops. Wrong locker. Right there. Yeah, let's make a name tag so we don't forget who Gary is. I mean, how I could never forget Gary. But this is for any guests that we get to come and that come and visit, and they want to know who our fish is. And it doesn't look like I can stick it on the aquarium, but I can put it up here. Uh, oh, it's a little tricky. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! No, 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 no! Spray it! Spray it on! Sign! It says sign. Deconstruct. Drop that. And how do I? Oh no! I can't reach it because I'm touching the aquarium. Oh, there we go. Ready? Ready? And edit sign. And we'll type out Gary. Gary. Gary, do you use two R's or one R in your name? Come here. Let me see. Oh, two R's. Ah, figures. All right, hold on. Better fix that. Gary. <laughs> two R's. <laughs> Perfect. And I think you need a friend. It's awfully lonely in there. Maybe we'll grab Peeper. There's Peeper. Oh, there's two Peepers. Hey, Peeps. Come here, Peeps. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I almost dropped Peeps. Come here. You want to hang out with Gary? Unfortunately, your name's not on the sign, but I'll make you a sign too later, Peeps, okay? Now, listen, guys. Get along, all right? Tank's big enough for the two of you. I don't want any fighting in there. There we go. Gary and Peeps. Together forever. All right. Now, let's get back to work here. So, I'm thinking about um, putting glass over here so we can look out and see... All the cool stuff outside. Yeah, let's go grab some glass. Hopefully I have a little bit left here. Oh, I do. How are we doing on titanium? Grab some more titanium. Oh, man, this is great. I can't wait to do all the furnishing. But I think just for today, what we're going to do is uh, we'll do our indoor grow bed here. Since that's something that we found in the last episode. And I would like to get some plants growing. Oh, that's amazing. Now, what happened to my neighbors swimming around? I'd love to see them right now. That'd be awesome. Okay, yeah. So now we're going to put the indoor grow bed. Well, that's exterior grow bed. We can put one of those outside. I'm thinking about putting this right here in the square. Are we close to the window? No, not too close to the window because I might want to walk over to the window and look out. So, well, we could put it right in the center, but I have a feeling it's just going to get in the way. Let's put it right here. That's fine. Very cheap to make this stuff, too. All right, drop the building tool. And now we can throw some seeds in here. I don't have any on me, so let's go grab some. I don't know what to make here, but I think what we'll start with is... Let's do... I hear the lantern tree is supposed to be pretty awesome. So well, let's grab the lantern tree, and it looks really amazing, too. Hopefully we can grow it inside. Well, actually, I know we can because we've found one inside of the old ruin, right? Now, do not eat it by accident. Switch container. Lantern tree. All right. Now, does it need... Oh, there it is. Is that him? That little feller? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't know. 
He's in there. Well, he's definitely in there. I'm assuming it's going to take some time to grow. So we'll just wait for it to pop, I guess. And while that's getting ready to pop, we're going to put a... I think we have some chairs and tables. How about... Uh, I can squeeze a chair in here, by the way. I should have put a chair here by the window. Well, here, let's do this. Put another window here. Yeah, we're going to do three windows. And this will be a window, too. I think I need more glass, though, don't I? Oh, oh I can make glass. But i got to go over my fabricator to do that. But before we do that, let's just get that chair out here. Need a nice place to sit. We have an office chair, a command chair, and a swivel chair. Swivel chair is probably the most comfortable thing that I have right now. I'd like, like, a lazy boy or something. Tell you what, let's just turn this around. And I wonder if we should put a table here, too. We've got a glass table. Oh, you know what? Let's go make some glass. We need a lot of glass, apparently. Looks good. Now. Oh, you can actually sit? Oh, no. I can't because of the, uh, the table, I bet. It's in the way. All right, well, let's deconstruct the bar table. Do I get everything back? Yeah. And now, can I sit? Oh, I can sit! Oh, this is great! I need to look out the window. Can I swivel the chair? The chair doesn't move. It's a swivel chair. Come on. Oh, look at little trees growing. My little tree, my little lantern tree. I could have made a Bilbo tree, too. They're pretty awesome. Yeah, so he's going to bear fruit. Apparently, we can get a lot of those trees in here. So when this one grows and we can pluck the fruit off of it, we can plant a few more and get a few in there because those, those lantern fruits are pretty good. All right, well, the table's not going to work here, so I think what I might do is deconstruct the chair and just move it up a little bit. Glad that you get the resources back. That's very nice. This is our R&R &R chamber where we can sit and catch our breath and just relax. We look outside, sit by the plants, go look at our fish in the fish tank. Yes, very relaxing and peaceful. Let's get that other window over here. And this is pretty much it for my glass right now. Oh, gosh. Minus two to base hull strength. Oh. Oh, you know what we need? We can make a bulkhead. Where's that bulkhead? Yeah, see this bulkhead right here? It provides plus two HP. And, oh, this is the reinforcement plate is seven HP. But I'm thinking of maybe putting a bulkhead here between... Uh, well, maybe over here. No, no, let's go make one. It's a couple. It's one lithium. We've got a little bit of lithium over here. In my uh locker. How much lithium? Oh, we don't have much. All right. Well, I, I don't want to use all of it, but I'm curious about this bulkhead. I would like to separate my serene living space from my stressful workplace. So let's see. Where is that piece? Bulkhead. Oh no. All right, it does not work here. I'm not sure why. I'll have to investigate that. Maybe you guys know why. But what we can do is put up a couple of... Um, a couple more reinforcements. Can you put a reinforcement on this side? Because it's across from the other one. I don't know. Oh, we can! Let's just do it. I'm going to put one here just in case. I don't know if we'll ever build off this backside. And if we do, we can just remove it. But I want to put that... I want to get that hull strength back up. I don't want this thing to leak on me. All right, looking good. Let's grab something to drink and eat right now. I really want to eat a lantern fruit. Just have to wait for it to grow. And it looks like it's 35%. Cool, it even shows you here. 36%. Right, it's growing pretty fast, frankly. All right, yeah, let's have a sit down. Look out the window, wait for the sun to come up, and then we will move on. So hang tight, I'll be right back. It's gonna wait for the sunrise. Oh, here it comes. Oh, it's so beautiful. So beautiful here, I love it. Reggie? Reggie, is that? Hey guys, I think it's Reginald. Reggie, what are you doing here in this neck of the woods? That is a Reginald, right? Hold on, where'd he go? Reggie, <gasps> Reggie. I guess the word is out that we have an aquarium in the base. Oh, 
Reg! It is Reg! Let's get you in the hand, pal. Oh, look at you. Look at that big old eye. Let's get you in the tank with Peeps and uh, and Gary. Come on. Hold on. Don't, don't wiggle so much. I don't want to drop you on the floor. There you go. Get Reg? Oh, there he is. Reggie! Hey, Gary, Peeps, can you please make sure that Reggie feels at home? Hey, Gary, I saw that. You swiped him with his tail. Now, come on, you guys have to get along. And yeah, let's give uh, let's give Reggie a name tag. I have one here for Peeps. It actually has been a full day has passed. Well, the in-game day, that is. And I went out and I recollected a whole bunch of materials that we had uh, used up. So I had to replace a bunch of stuff. That, that looks like it's a little higher than the other ones, doesn't it? Uh, don't, don't deconstruct the aquarium. Deconstruct the sign. What would happen if I deconstructed the aquarium with the fish in there? I guess they just fall out to the ground. I don't know. All right, that looks good. Fine. Whatever. Okay, put that down, and then I have to jump up and do this because it's... <gasps> Got it. Reggie. Reggie, Gary, and Peeps. I would realize they're not centered, and that's probably going to make some OCD flare-ups, but uh, I'll, I'll fix that later. But right now, I'm just happy we got the... The three stooges together and check it out we got a ball bow tree growing over here i put a little potted plant down and we now have a lantern fruits growing on our lantern tree and by the way apparently the marble melon is better um is better fruit to eat than the lantern fruits are and is that are they all ripe the way they are yeah this doesn't do much five food and three h2o that's actually pretty bad i think the marble melon's way better pick up marble melon uh, wait a minute, is it, is it ripe? Let me see. Marble melon. Oh yeah, look at that, 22 and 15, except that, oh, okay, we don't get a seed from it though. Oh, dang. Um, now how do I get a seed from it? And, well, let's eat it. I have one more. I grabbed two marble melon seeds, and it's a good dang thing because I have a feeling I'm supposed to stab it with my steely knife. Marble melon seed. Okay. Whoo. Thought I messed that one up. I don't really just want to grow vegetables or edible foods in here either. I kind of want to have, like, some pretty plants and flowers in there. So why don't we grab, like, the grub bath? Yeah, sure. Let's go stick these in here. I'll have, like, a dedicated farm plot somewhere. And this isn't really that one. This is for, for looks. And how do I get that out of here? Like, let me grab these. Um, I kind of want to move the tree to be in the center. So how do I do that? Do I stab the tree? Grab all the fruits off first before I kill it. I really hate to do this, but... Huh. All right, that doesn't work. And I can't pull it out of there. I guess I have to pick up the whole planter. I wish I could move it around. Well, floral arrangement isn't really my thing, apparently. So let's just chuck a bunch of stuff in here. Oh, it moved it. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, it just went in a different place. I don't know how to arrange. Again, that's not really my forte. Do not have a green thumb. Not even close. Let's get that marble melon in here, too. We're going to have to grow that one. How about a Chinese potato and a voxel shrub? And we'll see how that looks. Yeah, we'll have a whole bunch of pretty plants in here. Oh, look at that. Another lantern fruit. I mean, these aren't terrible. Oh, but they go fast, the old ones. Yeah, you got to eat them. You got to eat them right off the tree like this. Fresh. Plus five and yeah, plus three. Yeah, not great, not terrible, but it'll just have to do. And when, when Bilbo grows up here, I can stab him and eat some of him too. Okay, um, enough playing around. Oh, I wanted to put a lantern fruit on there. Can I get another lantern fruit? Yeah, right there. I wanted to put one over here. Oh, I'm stuck. I wanted to put one in this little planter as well because I think it'll look nice right there. So, yeah, all right, that's enough for decorating and expanding today. I think it's time to go do something a little more exciting, like head outside and collect some materials, replace some of the stuff that we had used up. Oh, we have an email. Let's check the email and see what's up with this. Radio. Signal location uploaded to PDA. High priority 
automated message from Aurora LifePod 13. LifePod contains the last known remains of high-priority Mongolian passenger. Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded PDA. Okay. Right there, LifePod 13 carrying a high-priority passenger's remains. And we should go bury those remains. We absolutely should. We can't let them float around in the ocean and get eaten by fish. That would be terrible. And it would uh, wreak havoc on our diplomacy with the Mongols. So um, let's go do that. And I need to find a couple of things. I'm looking for... What am I looking for here? So let me get prepared for this little trip. And then we'll head out. And I think in the next episode, we'll go to that uh, that gate. The force field gate that we found with a gun shot down our ride. And I think we're going to use that purple tablet there. But we're not going to do that today because we just don't have the time for that today, unfortunately. So, all right, yeah, give me a moment. I'll be right back. And we're going to go out and look for another blueprint, too. I want to find that battery recharger. I have half of it. I need one more. So, yeah. All right, let me grab that fruit and eat that right now. Mmm. Man, these fruits do grow very fast, though, don't they? Very nice. Okay. Oh, Bilbo's almost done. Oh, we gotta wait for Bilbo. Gotta wait for Bilbo. I want to greet him to his new home. Hang on. Wait for it. Wait for it. 100%! Bilbo's done! Is he? Wait a minute. Bilbo, Bilbo, welcome! And we just slice him, right? That doesn't hurt. Well, I guess it doesn't kill him. Plus three food. Look at the H2O from Bilbo. Oh, that's fantastic. And do, can I just keep slicing forever? Uh, I'll just make sure I don't take off too much. I don't want him to die. So maybe a couple of slices here and there when I get thirsty. All right, fantastic. I love this new uh, multi-purpose room here. And then this one, I'm going to move all of this stuff over. And this will be the work center, as I had mentioned before. But, uh, yeah, right now, let's go. Let's go out and try to find this new blueprint. I want to find the laser cutter blueprint. And I need to restock up on some supplies. And we should probably grab some food before we go. How about... On second thought, guys, I think we're just going to call it quits right here. I've been recording now for about 30 minutes or so. I should have plenty of footage for a full episode. And I think I want to give my throat a little bit more rest. So that next week we can pick up right here and be 100% and ready to rock and roll. So yeah, let's say goodbye to Gary, Peeps, and Reggie. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.